In this video, we are going to look at Lagrange multipliers and an example of constrained optimization. Find the absolute maximum and minimum values of f of x equals 3x squared minus 2y squared plus 28y plus 120 subject to the constraint 9x squared plus 16y squared equals 144. Now this uh, example is completely filled out, so uh, feel free to pause as, you, as necessary as I go through these steps. First thing we need to do is set up the g of x equal to 9x squared plus 16y squared. And then we set up the system of three equations with the variables x, y, and lambda. f sub x equals lambda g sub x gives us 16, 6x plus 18x lambda. F sub y equals lambda g sub y gives us minus 4x plus 28 is 32y lambda. And then, of course, we got the constraint 9x squared plus 16y squared equals 144. All right, then we need to solve this system of equations. So let's go ahead and pull down here. So the first thing that will happen here, we get the 6x equals 18x lambda, dividing by 6, x will be 3x lambda. So either x will be zero, or we'll show that the lambda has to be one third. So in the first case, if x is equal to zero, then g of zero, y is 144. And we can see through the algebra there that the y is going to be plus or minus three. So what happens if the lambda equals a third? All right, if the lambda equals a third, then we've got this linear equation to solve in terms of y. Like I say, feel free to pause, see the algebra going on at each step, and it'll lead us to y equals 21 divided by 11. Now we need to find the x that corresponds to that. So in one second, I'm going to shift this upward here. Okay, so if y equals 21 11 then g of x 21 11 means 9x squared plus 16 times 21 over 11 quantity squared equals 144. So we're solving this quadratic equation now for x. And we'll go through all this detail. x will wind up being plus or minus 24 squared of 2 over 11. Okay, we've got all the solutions in x and y and lambda. And so now we're going to take the x's and the y's. All right, so the next step is to evaluate f of x, y at the points found in solving the system of equations. So f of 0, 3 will be 186, and there's the algebra and arithmetic associated to it. Then we've got f of 0, negative 3, which will give us an 18. Zero, let's see, 0, 3 is 186, f of 0, negative 3 is 18. Uh, f of 24 squared of 2 over 11, comma 21 11 That will uh, simplify down to 2,142 divided by 11, which is about 194 over 7, or 194.7, which is ever so slightly bigger than the 186. F of negative 24 squared of 2 over 11, comma 21 over 11, because the x squared um, made the negative number positive, we're actually going to have the exact same values here and here. And so finally, we compare the values found. The absolute minimum will be 18 at 0, comma, negative 3, and the absolute maxima, uh, 2,142 over 11, occurs at plus or minus 24 square root of 2 over 11, comma, 21 over 11. And what I'd like to show you is using the uh, computer algebra system Maple. I've got the uh, setup here with the F1 set up as a function of uh, two variables. Then I've got the P7 as the plot 3D of F1 of XY from X equals negative 4 to 4 and Y equals negative 4 to 4. The P of 8, I'm defining the space curve, letting the X be 4 cosine of T and letting the Y b3 sine of t, and that's just the substitution into my f of x, y. And then I've got a point plot with um, 
black diamond symbols at size 18, so you should be able to see them pretty well in this video. And then the full display, as you can see right there, the, um, the 194.7, ever so slightly bigger than the 186. The 186 value will be there. And then the uh, other value of 18 will be down there. And then to just illustrate the combination of these, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate around so that you can get a better feel for what this, um, this elliptical cylinder is intersection with the curve does. We've got our um, minimum value there, the candidate for the maximum value, ever so slightly beat out by the values here with the uh, 2142 over 11 values here and here. So again, you can see in this vantage point, it's ever so slightly bigger there.